क्वेश्चन नंबर 66 पेयर ऑफ स्पीशीज व्हिच आर आइसोइलेक्ट्रॉनिक एज वेल एज आइसोस्ट्रक्चरल अराउंड सेंट्रल एटम इज इन दिस केस वी हैव द डिफरेंट स्पीशीज गिवन हियर एंड वी हैव टू जस्ट फाइंड आउट दैट स्पीशी व्हिच इज आइसोइलेक्ट्रॉनिक अराउंड द सेंट्रल एटम एंड इट शुड आल्सो बी आइसोस्ट्रक्चरल आल्सो सो इफ यू लुक एट द गिवन स्पीशीज यू विल आइडेंटिफाई दैट द स्पीशीज गिवन इन ऑप्शन 4 द फर्स्ट वन इज ICL2 negative and the second one is XEF2 are isoelectronic around central atom as well as isostructural. If I talk about this ICL2, the hybridization of this ICL2 is SP3D and its shape would be linear. Similarly, if we talk about this XEF2, its hybridization is also SP3D and it is also linear. Now, the question is isoelectronic around the central atom. I, 2 chlorine, this way, and there are 3 lone pairs. And a negative charge. So, total number of electron around the central atom are, if you count here, these would be 10. So, in this case, the total valence electron around central atom. These are 10. Now, similarly, if we talk about XEF2, in case of XEF2, there are total 8 electron around the xenon in the valence shell. So, I am just drawing here the valence electron pair. 2 lone pair this way. 3 lone pairs are present. And 2 bonded pair would be there in this way. So, how many electrons are there? Total electrons. Total valence electron around. central atom. These are also 10 if you count. There are 3 lone pair and 2 bond pair are there. So, total 10 electron. In this way, if you look at option 4, you will identify that the species given in option 4 are isoelectronic around the central atom as well as isostructural also. You can also check with the other species also and on that basis, I will just choose this option 4 as the correct option. I hope this question is clear to you. Let's take next question. Now question number 67. The species having bond angle of 90 degree is. We have different species and we have to find out whether they have the bond angle 90 degree or not. Let's check the species given here BRF5. I have the species. I have its hybridization also SP3D2. For the CO2 is given with the hybridization sp then SF6 with the hybridization SP3D2 and PBR4 positive. This species has SP3 hybridization. I just want to make it clear that whenever we talk about the particular species, we have to check hybridization to find out the bond angle. And the species with SP3D2 and SP3 dehybridization are showing bond angle 90 degree. It means if we talk about CO2, it is sp hybridized. Its bond angle is 180 degree linear molecule it is. Further, we have this PBr4 positive. It is having the hybridization sp3. The bond angle is 109.28 degree. It means these two are not the correct options. But we have the two species with sp3d2 hybridization. These are BRF5 and SF6, it means two options are correct. No, it is not. If we talk about SF6, it has an angle that is of 90 degree. This is the correct one. But if we talk about this BRF5, in case of BRF5, the central atom, this bromine, has the lone pair. And that's why there is lone pair bond pair repulsion. And due to that, in that case, the bond angle is not 90 degree. And that's why only one species there with the bond angle 90 degree. That is given in option 3. And I'm just choosing it as the correct answer.
for my particular question that is option three let's take question number 68 question number 68 intramolecular hydrogen bond is not present in if we talk about the first compound that is ortho nitrophenol very good example of intramolecular hydrogen bonding i've drawn the structure for this here this is ortho nitrophenol and this ortho nitrophenol has intramolecular hydrogen bonding that is shown here with the help of this red color dotted line this is intramolecular hydrogen bond then we have the next species that is chloral hydrate i'm just writing here the name this is chloral hydrate the formula is chcl3 and hydrated molecule is there that's why i've drawn like this in this case you can clearly see that this oxygen is directly joined with hydrogen with the help of covalent bond so there's the electronegativity difference partial positive charge is there on hydrogen atom and chlorine is also electronegative that's why here is the formation of intramolecular hydrogen bond this red dotted line is here and red dotted line is here also so intramolecular hydrogen bonding is there further if we talk about the next molecule that is salicylic acid i've drawn the structure for the salicylic acid for you here in this case you can clearly see that oxygen and hydrogen are bonded with intramolecular hydrogen bonding but if we talk about acetic acid that is ch3cooh the simple molecule this does not show intramolecular hydrogen bonding it shows intermolecular hydrogen bonding and that intermolecular hydrogen bonding is clearly given here in the fourth structure that i have drawn for you this is acetic acid i have taken two molecules of this acetic acid here and these two are joined with the help of intermolecular hydrogen bonding not the intramolecular one that is why we can easily choose this option three as the correct answer and that's why let me write here this is option three which is the correct one let's take next question also question number 69 is here correct order of stability is we have different species and we have to just check whether these are given correctly on the basis of stability or not so let's first check the condition here we should know that whenever we talk about the stability we have to check the bond order of the species if bond order is more definitely the stability would be more let's check first species is nitrogen here then n2 positive ion then n2 negative ion so if we talk about this n2 n2 positive and this n2 negative in case of n2 the bond order is three i'm writing here the bond order that's three in case of N2 positive, this bond order is 2.5. How do we calculate the bond order? By writing the molecular orbital configuration first. Then we know that bond order is half of the bonding electron minus anti-bonding electron. Then you will find out the bond order of the given species. For the N2 negative, in this case also the bond order is 2.5. Let's check for the next species also. Here is O2, O2 negative and O2 positive. In this case, the bond order is 2, 1.5 and 2.5. Now, after this, the next species is B2, B2 negative and B2 positive. Let's write their bond orders also. In this case, the bond orders are 1, 1.5 and 0.5. Now, we are left with C2, C2 positive and C2 negative. These three species are there and their bond orders I can write here. For C2 the bond order is 2. For C2 positive the bond order is bond order is 1.5 and C2 negative the bond order becomes 2.5. So these are the bond orders. On the basis of this we can easily find out the stability. So if we check here as per the given options, if we talk about this species, here, this the order was this. And if we check the bond order, the order of stability is not correctly given here. The order of stability depends on the order of the bond order. So here, this is incorrectly given. Further, for B2, B2 negative and B2 positive, the order is this. And this is also incorrectly given because bond order of B2 negative is maximum. So this is also wrong further. 
the bond order that is given is O2, O2 negative and O2 positive. And if you check the bond orders, you will identify that this is also incorrectly given. This is not the order of stability. But if we talk about this, here the bond or here the order of stability is this. But in this case, the stability of these two species should be same. Why? Because these two have the same bond order. And on the basis of this, you can say that none of the option is correctly giving you the order of stability. But it is not so because in the option one, we have N2 positive and N2 negative. In case of this N2 positive, the less number of electrons are there in empty bonding molecular orbital. How would you know it? You will know. You can identify it by writing its molecular orbital configuration. So if you write that, you will identify that more number of electrons are there in anti-bonding molecular orbital in case of N2 negative. That's why the stability of this N2 negative is less. I'll write here this is less stable due to more number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbital. And that's why this order of stability that is given here is correct. It means the correct answer for this question is given in option 1. So I'm writing here option 1 as the correct option. Now after this, we have the next question. Question number 70, which of the following pair of species contains both sigma and pi bonds each? We have different molecular species given here and we can find out the number of sigma and pi bond with the help of the molecular electronic configuration for the given molecules. We have first N2 and for this we can write here the electronic configuration sigma 2s2 sigma antibonding 2s2 then there would be pi 2px electron with the same energy 2p y 2 electron and then there would be sigma 2p z 2 electrons are here so this is the electronic configuration for the species dinitrogen then we have c2 for c2 this configuration becomes sigma 2s2 sigma antibonding 2s2 then there is pi 2px with 2 electron and that has the same energy as that of pi 2py. There are 2 electrons. So total 12 electrons are filled here. Now the configuration for the next species that's present here is B2. Its configuration would be quite similar to the previous one but the total number of electrons in case of B2 are 10. So I'm just filling 10 electrons here. as these two pi 2px and pi 2py have similar energy that's why one one electron is filled in each of them so this is the configuration for b2 and now the species that is here is o2 for o2 the configuration would becomes bit different this is 2s2 sigma antibonding 2s2 then sigma 2pz this is a different electronic configuration then pi 2px and pi 2py how many electrons are total there in o2 molecule there are total 16 electron so we have to fill 16 electron so two here and two here pi antibonding 2px that has the same energy pi antibonding 2py and both of them have one electron each now we are left with another species that's given here that is C2, 2 negative. C2, 2 negative. All the species we have filled. The configuration for this would be KK. That is representing the K shell. Then sigma 1s2, sigma antibonding, 2s2. Then pi 2px2. That would have the same energy as that of pi 2py. Two electrons would be filled here. Total electron in C2 2 negative is 14 as that of nitrogen. So the configuration is quite similar to that of nitrogen. And further sigma 2p 
z it would be having two electron so in this case the sigma bond is formed by sigma 2pz orbital and pi bond is formed by pi 2px and pi 2py orbitals so it will form both sigma and pi further if we talk about the species o2 that is also forming both sigma and pi further nitrogen is also forming n2 n2 is dinitrogen it is also forming both sigma and pi bonds but this b2 and c2 these two are forming only pi bonds so now we have to check the options in which the species are given which contain both sigma and pi bond so n2 and c2 in case of n2 both sigma and pi bonds are present but in case of c2 only pi bonds are present that's why it is not the correct answer further o2 and b2 in case of o2 both sigma and pi bonds can are present but if we talk about b2 there are only pi bonds that's why it is not the correct answer then c2 and b2 both of these have only pi bond that's why it is also incorrect then c2 negative and o2 these two species have both sigma and pi bonds that's why this is the correct answer for this particular question and that's why i'm marking it as the correct answer after this we have to take next question